Welcome to Bop DJ. My name is Jamie Hartley from Crossfader and today we've got another review video for you. The portabilism market is thriving at the moment and the new Mark PTO One Scratch seems to be at the center of it. We're going to review this product. I'll show you how it works as a standalone unit and also how it works in DVS mode with these nice little Serato control vinyls. The new Mark PTO One is one of just a few turntables like it. The idea behind this unit is to be able to travel with it anywhere and practice your scratching and cuts. So what features does it have? Firstly, it can either be powered by batteries or by a DC power cable. To start the platter, simply move the tone arm over the vinyl and it automatically starts. The top plate is made out of metal, but the rest of the unit is plastic. There are three different speed settings depending on what you're spinning. Rather than a pitch fader like a traditional turntable, it has a rotary knob for plus and minus 10% speed adjustment. There is also a tone adjustment, which is basically your equalization. You can accentuate the higher or lower frequencies. Lastly, there is an onboard speaker with a volume control, but in all fairness, it's pretty tinny sounding. That's not an issue, however, as there is also a quarter inch jack and an eight inch headphone output. It has an RCA master out, which you can use to hook up to a portable speaker. On the other side of the unit, there is a USB for recording or ripping your vinyl to a laptop or computer, plus a stereo input for playing beats to scratch over through the turntable. Now for the good stuff, scratching on this turntable. The new Mac PTO one actually plays all size vinyls from seven to 10 to even 12 inch. As standard, it comes with a scratch switch built in. Unlike a traditional crossfader, this is basically an on and off click. It's a great tool for learning quick, sharp cuts because there is a barrier on each side. With a traditional crossfader, you also have to learn to stop the crossfader in the middle. I think this can be a plus for those who want to learn some more advanced techniques before applying them to a normal crossfader. Depending on your style, whether you're regular or hamster, you can easily unscrew the crossfader and spin it to any position. So for a basic setup, if you bought this turntable by itself, the best way to use it would be to have your phone plugged into the stereo input, playing a beat, and a scratch vinyl to practice those cuts. I will say, however, because the tone arm is made of plastic and lightweight, it's prone to quite a bit of skipping on regular vinyl. Maybe try an old school way of blue tacking a coin to the top. If you don't like the idea of buying actual vinyl and want to use this turntable with Serato or a DVS setup, then you will need to expand your setup quite a bit. Most importantly, you will need an external crossfader, which we're about to look at, and a DVS sound card or a DVS enabled mixer. Just remember as well, as soon as we do this, the portability factor decreases massively as you will need your laptop, extra cables, the sound card, crossfader, and not forgetting a speaker. To connect a crossfader like this, simply run your DVS sound cards left and right deck outputs into channel one and two on the crossfader. Or even just have a jack from your phone playing a beat running to one of the channels. Then run the turntable into the sound cards input. The crossfader output would then run to your portable speaker or studio monitors. <laughs> Hopefully that's given you an insight as to what this product's capable of. Um, I will say though that it's a very thriving market, it's the portabilism market at the moment. There's a lot of DIY going on and this is kind of your base product. I know a lot of DJs that have replaced the tone arm for example, or even replaced the inbuilt crossfader switch with a, a normal style crossfader. There are add-ons you can get where you can add Bluetooth audio to it. There's loads of things going on and it's a really interesting part of the industry to get involved in. Now this product at the moment is only 124 pounds and I think that's a great price for, at the end of the day, a portable turntable that runs off batteries if you want it to. It's great that you can also plug it into any controller setup that's DVS enabled. Make sure you get yourself some control vinyl as well. We've got them in stock. But this is a great addition for any DJ who's maybe looking to get into scratching and just wants to try it out without spending the money on a turntable yet and they want to add it to their DVS enabled controller setup. Or if you're already a scratch DJ that wants to add that portabilism um, aspect to their current setup, then this is where you need to start. I've got to say I've had hours and hours of fun with this product. I've added it to different controllers, I've added it with a DVS setup, I've had it just by itself in loads of different locations, and I've lost hours just playing on it. It's a product I would highly recommend myself, um, and 
I hope this video has maybe given you an insight into a very sort of new part of the DJ industry that's very exciting at the moment. If you're interested in this or any other product, please make sure to check out our website at bopdj.com. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.